Hello and welcome! I am coming to you today via my guest bedroom. So if you're wondering why I'm coming to you through a video today, um, instead of just explaining it in class, it's mainly so that I can uh, just show you all in one video uh, how to do this project, so I'm not using supplies for every class, partly so that you can rewatch it if you miss something, and mostly so that I can edit out any stupid thing I might say on accident. You have no idea how much I've already edited this. But back to the project. So our newest project is going to be something called Mixed Media. When we refer to an artwork's medium, we are talking about what the artwork is made of. So acrylic on canvas, or oil on canvas, or metal, uh, anything that you've used to make this artwork will be its medium. So when we're talking about mixed media, all we're saying is that there's multiple media inside of it. So there's maybe acrylic on canvas, but there's also yarn, and metal, or paper, chalk, dog hair, fabric. Yeah, that's all I see around me right away that I could put into an artwork. So how do we go about mixing media? Well, hopefully I'm showing you some examples of mixed media right next to my head over here. Um, but basically what we do is we come up first with an idea, a theme, a subject, something that we want to say inside of our artwork. Once we have what we want to say, we need to go about thinking about how it is we want to say it. This is where you'll outline your project, the rough draft of sorts. You'll come up with your idea, you'll lay it out, and you'll decide what is working toward your theme and what really isn't mattering. And lastly, you will be looking at the principles of design and the elements of art. The elements of art are what you're going to be putting into your artwork. The color, the lines, the shapes, the textures. Mixed media is great for textures. The principles of design are going to be how you take those elements and put them onto your paper. Are they going to be balanced? Are they going to be unified? Is it going to be a contrast? All those things you have to think about and plan ahead for so that it doesn't end up be just being kind of a jumbled mess. Mixed media can get that way kind of fast. I give you stencils, I give you glue. It gets crazy from there. So once you have your theme, and once you've got your principles of design and your elements of art all laid out in your rough draft, then you get to start gathering your materials. Uh, now, we have lots of things in the classroom that you can use from newspapers, to magazines, to thread, to yarn, to gesso, mod podge, your imagination. You can bring a number of things from home, as long as you have some way of attaching them to the piece of paper that we're going to be working on. Uh, you can bring guitar picks, book pages, sheet music. I could probably bring sheet music. I think I know a guy. And if you're still not sure how to tackle mixed media, do not fret. I've got a couple more videos coming out that'll show you some different techniques about it, hopefully give you some starting points to start on your own projects. So, when is it due? Well, February 17th. If you think about it, 16th is going to be a day off for you guys. The week before, I will be gone the Thursday and the Friday. So I'm going to make it do that Tuesday, the 17th. That gives you nearly two weeks to work on this. With that much time to work on it, and with a lot of dead time that happens in mixed media where you put one thing on, then you have to wait an entire day for it to dry, I'm going to be assigning a second project that will be due February 20th. Now, I'm not going to assign this one just yet because I want you to get the hang of mixed media first, but be on the lookout for project two. So, objective for today. Get started on the mixed media outline. Now, you don't have to finish the mixed media outline today. It's due Wednesday, but I would like you to get started on your theme. Get some ideas, sketch them out, see how they look, just work on that. If you can get that done today, you'll be set for the rest of the project. Now go art! Art.